Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death or Above. It is Wednesday. It is Arms Day in the tower. We're going to talk to Banshee, see what kind of guns he's got for us. Stuff that sounds like fun. Let's do it. So what I like to do in the Arms Day video is talk about the guns that Banshee's brung. We'll look at the uh, field test weapons to test this week. We'll talk about foundry orders, make some decisions, and then we'll look at next week's foundry orders. So if that sounds like fun, that's what we're going to do right now. So we'll start with the field test weapons. Like I said, if you want to see any of the foundry orders right here that he has available for purchase in action, I do a uh, Arms Day preview video. Uh, on Saturdays, so go check that out. The link is in the description. If you ever want to see me do any of this stuff live, come by the Twitch channel. I'm usually there every morning, uh, just every day, streaming. That's where I record half my videos, so if you ever want to be in a video or involved in a video, that's the place to be. But look, we got field test weapons. We got the Haka Teste hand cannon. Use against fallen targets. That's not a hand cannon. That's not a rifle. There's the Haka Teste hand cannon. Make double kills. Uh, I'm on Test AC1. Vex targets. Hive targets for TSP-10 and high-ranking enemies. So we have all PVE enemies. We got Fallen, we got Vex, we got Hive. I'm going to say start out on the Cosmodrome. Do that little shed that goes down to the basement to kill the, the three Hive hanging out down there. Uh, you can use this uh, to kill Hive wherever they may be in Fallen. And the only thing you're going to have to go to a different planet for is to kill Vex with the Omelette Test HC1. Just go to Venus. If you want to do that, there's I don't think there's anywhere that there's Vex, Hive, and Fallen on the same world. Um, yeah, pretty sure there's not. But they're all PVE. They're all pretty simple. Nothing uh, real complicated. The double kills on this hand cannon, you can space them out pretty far apart as long as you get them relatively close. Uh, together in time, you'll be fine and you'll get that done. That takes 10 high-ranking kills. Usually most of the other, gun take, other guns take 10 kills. I think this one takes 25 double kills or 10 double kills. Uh, 25 kills on the Fallen, Vex, and Hive, and you'll be done with those. So, let's get into the Foundry Order decisioning and see what we got for fun this week. So, I have 8 guns in total to look at. One of them is a duplicate, but we've got the 5 guns Banshee was selling last week. We've also got 3 bonus guns. The Haka Armor and ESD, the Suros PDX-45, and the Haka Ludmilla D. So, uh, we're going to look at all those guns in time. But right now, let's look at the Suros AR-41 Auto Rifle. So, I'm seeing a pretty interesting option right here with Hidden Hand. Snapshot Injection Mold Fitted Stock Appendant Magazine. I don't like the range loss you're going to have with Injection Mold. You're going to have to hit things real close. But, uh, the stability on this gun's already pretty good. So, Fitted Stock Snapshot Hidden Hand would be a pretty good roll. 28, 57, 19, those are all my favorite scopes. First option on that 41 looks nice. I like it. So then we got Outlaw. I'm not a big fan of Outlaw on uh, auto rifles. You do have hand laid stock, hammer forged, feather mag, snapshot. This will give you more range. I don't care for Outlaw on an auto rifle. It's got the 26, the 57, and the 12. Um, it's still a good gun. It'll push your range out a little bit. So might be better to have the range than hidden hand. I don't know. Uh, range over hidden hand? Let me know in the conversation on that one. Uh, and then Snapshot Icarus Fitted Stock Appended Magazine Reinforced Barrel. Don't doubt Icarus on an auto rifle because you can jump and hip fire pretty good. If this had hip fire and Icarus, that would be interesting. Reinforced Barrel would increase the range. I don't know if you want to do it with a reduced stability of that, but it's got the uh, none of the sights that I like, but they're still, you know, Suro sights are Suro sights. They're still pretty good. So kind of a pick your poison on that one. I think the first one's probably the best one as far as the Suro era is concerned. Then we've got the Soros JLB-47. I'm seeing a tripod, but it's just, you know, a tripod. There's no tracking cluster bombs or grenades and horses on the third option. But the first option has heavy payload tracking, quick draw, perfect balance, flared magwell, smart drift control, and counter mass, and aggressive launch. So maybe this one if you want to do a tracking max, almost max blast radius, and then a quick draw to get the gun out really, really quick with tracking for kind of, you know, PvE fun, or if you like that in PvP. Uh, it's not going to be the truth or anything, but it, it'll do a little tracking. Then you have unflinching. I'm going to pass right over that one because unflinching on a rocket launcher is useless. And then we have the tripod version with lightweight, perfect balance, single point sling, third mag. Well, you really want blast radius and velocity on your rocket launcher, so tripod, tripod with none of those doesn't really do any good. So the one to grab this week from this rocket launcher is the first one, but if you're holding out for a grenades and horseshoes roll, just wait until next week. Uh, you'll probably get something much better if you hold on to it, because that's not that great of a roll. So next up, we have the Haka Jingu Kogo D shotgun. 
This is a gun that's really kind of interesting. It's in the no man's land of the mid rate of fire, mid impact shotgun thing with no range, good stability, and okay reload. It's basically a throwaway gun. But if you grabbed it and you wanted to have some fun, this is not what you're looking for. Pushing the range out on this really isn't going to do a whole lot of good. Uh, it doesn't have a really good range stat. I would say make it a PVE fun gun. Find the set of perks like I have uh, Final Round Feeding Frenzy or Final Round Spray and Play, maybe? Uh, rifle and Barrel, okay. Flared Magwell would actually be the better choice. Uh, Final Round Spray and Play Flared Magwell could be really fun on this gun. Get the kill. Uh, use that damage, empty the mag, and then reload it pretty quick. That's going to be a pretty quick reload. And it's only got three in the mag, so it's a small gun, but you're going to get to that final round quicker. So more damage in total, and the reload speed's pretty good, so you're going to get to reload it pretty quickly. So I'm saying that's that's probably the choice right there. And then you have uh, Spray and Play, Danger Close, Lightweight, Fitted Stock Rifle. But yeah, i say the second one. second one looks like a lot of fun. Um, pick up that second Jingu Kogo. Uh, the only way you could make it better is if it had... Uh, Feeding Frenzy instead of Spray and Play, but I'm not sure which one is the faster of the two, Spray and Play or Feeding Frenzy. I'm betting it's probably Feeding Frenzy, but still a pretty cool shotgun. Let's morph into a uh, Hunter. And we have morphed into a female Hunter. Let's take a look at a couple more options now. I'm going to warn you, I have a PDX-45 on this character, but we're not going to look at it on this character because I've got two packages. I've got it on my Warlock too. So we're going to start out with the Ludmilla D, a gun that I am waiting, waiting patiently for that perfect roll, um, I'm looking for Feeding Frenzy, counter, is it Counterbalance Feeding Frenzy, uh, it's Hand Laid Stock something, no it's Head Seeker Feeding Frenzy Hand Laid Stock, that's what I'm looking for, so we've got uh, Surrounded Feeding Frenzy, and then Oiled Frame, nothing there, sorry if I pass over the Lude Millen, you've been holding on to it and you want to look at it, I mean you can see the perks, uh, glass half full spray and play. That one's pretty good. Uh, injection mold, not bad, not bad. That's actually real good. The stability on this is just a little bit hard to control. So you're going to want something a little bit more stable than just that. That's why I say hand laid stock at minimum. I would like counterbalance on it, but I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing oiled frame, fitted stock snapshot, feeding frenzy crowd control. This one's pretty cool if you can stand the instability of it. Uh, it's going to be a strong one. Uh, good reload, good damage output, but I'm not seeing the one I'm looking for there, so that's the Ludmilla. Then there's the PDX-45, we're not going to look at that right now. And then we've got the Strongbow D, which is basically the same as the Jingu Kogo D with more ammo. I mean, they're almost identical in stats, so you want kind of the same deal in this one. This has got a bigger mag though, so final round is less important. I would go more for uh, damage output or reload, just to kind of have some fun with this gun if you got it. Uh, hot Swap Hand Laid Stock, uh, Flared Magwell may be your best choice on that actually. Uh, final Round, if you want Final Round, I am not a big fan of Final Round on that gun. Too many bullets to get to it. So, next up we have uh, the Spray and Play and the Danger Close. That's not bad. Um, usually I'd be using this in PvE. Hand Laid Stock is useless. Flared Magwell again, maybe. Reload. Uh, that one gives you increased reload and handling. I'm looking for something for more damage on that gun, though, because, honestly, it could use it. <laughs> and then we have Final Round Battle Runner. Oh, that's, that's fun. Final Round Battle Runner Flared Magwell Oiled Frame. So get in close, shoot them, get to the final round, and then get out and reload real quick. That could be fun. I'd say pick up that one if you want to have a fun, silly gun. You're going to have to run this completely different than your PvP shotgun, but nobody PvP shotguns anymore, so this could be fun. PvE, go out and have some fun, get some Battle Runner going. Uh, Quantoplasm, though, is probably a better choice if you have it, but Strongbow D shotgun, uh, interesting, interesting situation. So, hold that thought on the PX-45 this week, and let's morph into a Warlock. We have become a Warlock, and we got three more guns to look at. Now we will take a look at the PX-45 in just a second. We'll probably save it till the end. Uh, we got the Hakka Arminius D auto rifle. I'm waiting for something fun, but I will talk about the different rolls on this one. Uh, this is the same as my Lude Mill. I'm holding out for that perfect roll. I'm looking for a counterbalance brace frame one again to have some fun. But we got Danger Close Rodeo, Snapshot, Fitted Stock, and Rifled Barrel. Um, no, I don't think so. That sounds like not a party. That sounds like a real not party. So, then we have Army of One Focus Fire with Rifled Barrel. So guys, if you 
like the PvE fun that I have had with my Arminius D uh, rocking the Focus Fire Crowd Control Rifled Barrel. Here is your chance to get it. You're not going to get Crowd Control, but you're going to get Army of One, which is almost as useful. Uh, definitely a PvE fun gun if you want to pick up a Focus Fire Arminius D uh, with Army of One, Rifled Barrel, Speed Reload, or Snapshot. I like Rifled Barrel, Focus Fire for PvE because Focus Fire is going to make your mag last twice as long because it cuts your RPM rate, but it doesn't lower your mag size. So you're going to have lots and lots of bullets for all the enemies in PvE. But if you want that crowd control spray and play option with Rifled Barrel, here you go. This one might be a little hard to get past the muzzle flash and it's going to be hard to control it. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend this for PvE. Uh, it looks good, but it's probably out of control. So pick up the second one if you have, want to have some fun in PvE. I can confirm this is fun. It's a fun gun because you feel like you never run out of bullets. Next up, we have the Amalan Kuma Katok HC4 hand cannon. I'm seeing good options. So, this one you want rifled barrel for sure. If you don't see rifled barrel, probably just move along. It does have Icarus and Reinforced with Grenadier, so you have that range, and it's got good stability. So, struggling with this one's not going to be as bad with Reinforced as it would other hand cannons, but uh, it's still something you want rifled instead of Reinforced. That way you're not losing out on, uh, on what you could have. Then we have, ooh, Outlaw, Luck, oh, out, mm, wah, wah, not Range Front, or not uh, Rifle Barrel, we got Injection Mold. So it looks great, Outlaw, Luck in the Chamber, Quick Draw could be good in PvE, but I'm going to say no. Uh, and then for the third option, we have uh, Luck in the Chamber, Firefly, with Reinforced. So you can make this work for PvE for sure. Uh, get that Firefly with Reinforced for range and Luck in the Chamber for extra damage. So I'm seeing fun here, but it's a lower, it's a mid-impact hand cannon, mid to low impact hand cannon. So Firefly and PvE, not as much fun on this gun as it could be. So honestly, if you're waiting for a really good roll on the uh, Kuma Ketak, I'd hold it till next week. You've got, I don't think there was a single rifled barrel, so it's just not what you're looking for. These are not the droids you're looking for. So, guys, let's let's do it. PDX45 Watch Week 2 is the God Roll arrived. Has the God Roll arrived? So, uh, we got the 19, the 26, the 41 with Hammer Forge, Dependent Magazine, Spray and Play, Snapshot, and Reinforced Barrel. You'll get insane range with a good reload, but, uh, you know, it's basically max reload, honestly. Um... I'm, yeah, I'm not crazy about that one. All you're getting is range and reload, and on the PDX-45, those are not the things I really look for. Um, they're good. I don't like secret round. You're disappointing me, game. You're disappointing me. Feather mag fitted stock, hand laid stock, snapshot. Although hand laid stock does make it nice, especially you could get away with fitted stock snapshot, but I don't like secret round. I don't like this. Uh, so, eh, maybe. It's max stability. We've got that far. And then finally, we have one more option. Icarus, I like. I like it. What do you have here? Hand laid stock, I like it. And fitted stock, okay. I would actually run a pended magazine, hand laid stock, or fitted stock, a single point sling with Icarus because stability is already pretty good. If you want a laser beam, go hand laid stock. Uh, Icarus is going to be a lot of fun on this gun. It does have my favorite sights, the 28 and the 19. I like the 57, but I think for this gun, you're going to want to run the 19 or the 12 for the quick speed so I'm thinking that's it's like two-thirds of a god roll for me uh, it's definitely a max stability roll so if you want a max stability PDX 45 here you go with Icarus I think that's probably pretty good let me know what you guys think in the comments about that PDX 45 so found your orders for next week we got the Hakuju the D high impact low rate of fire hand can the Amalan Kuma Ketak again the Amalan Uffren the high impact low rate of fire option for Amalan hand cannons Haka Tamar D sniper rifle and the Amalan Uzum sniper rifle. The Tamar is a mid impact, mid rate of fire sniper. The Uzum is the low impact, high rate of fire sniper. So, nothing, um, nothing to write home about this next coming up week. Two, two snipers and three hand cannons. The Kuma Ketak, actually, the Uffern will be the best of the week. So, uh, pick those up in any order you want. They're all kind of the same tier of gear. None of them, like, none of them are, you know, top tier god roll best of the meta right now but they're still fun guns and i like them the judith you can there is a one tapper option if you get some super damage buffs in pvp you can one headshot 
but you gotta have a lot of things happen and it's kind of silly but i've i've got it and it can happen um but anyway those are the foundry orders for next week this has been arms day let me know which gun you picked up and which one is your favorite of the week did you pick up that pdx 45 have you been holding on to it did you grab uh one of those fun shotguns let me know in the comments but i'm gonna get out of here thank you so much for watching guys uh leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you want to see more and don't forget to click, go check out that twitch channel in the description i'll be streaming there as soon as this video goes up and uh, you guys have an awesome day thanks so much for watching i will see you next time See you back.